In this example, we're going to find the slope of this line using the slope formula. The slope formula is actually, we'll use m to denote that, is, and we'll use m to refer to the slope, it is the difference of the y values, which I'm going to call y2 minus y1, divided by the difference in the x values, which is going to be x2 minus x1. Now, it really doesn't matter which points, which point you call the two point or which one is the ones, just as long as you keep the order consistent. So, as I'll, make, as I'll explain, like here we have two points. Let me go highlight one. Like here's one right here. There's a point there. Let's uh, get the coordinates to this point. The coordinates of this point right here is you get the x value first. So you need parentheses negative 2, uh, 0. All right, so that's this point right here. Then we got another point right here. Uh, and let me go ahead and identify that one. And that point is, that point is, it looks like it is 4, 1. Let me move this out the way to make sure. Yeah. So I have my two points. I'm going to let my 4, 1 be my 2s, and I'm going to let my negative 2, 0 be my 1, but it will work either way, just as long as you don't get the x's and y mixed up. So, let's substitute in our slope formula, which is this. So, m, which is our slope formula, is equal to, I'm going to let my y2, my second y value, be 1, and I'm going to subtract from that my first y value, which is 0. Then my second y value is, my x value, sorry, is 4. And my first x value is negative 2. And since I'm subtracting the negative, I want to make sure that I don't leave out that negative sign. Okay? Since we're using a calculator on this, I don't need to do any more simplification. So I'm just going to choose the calculator by going up here. And I'm just going to type the same expression, uh, 1 minus 0 over 4 minus negative 2. And I don't want a decimal if I can get a fraction, so I'm going to click on this to convert to fraction. Now, from this, when we simplify our fraction, we see that our slope is 1, 6. I'm going to put that down here. And we have found the slope using the slope formula. It includes the video.